Hello everyone, I am Ashish and this is my channel Medico Acme India and the topic for today's discussion is the MSc entrance examination and uh, this video I have made in Hindi but some of the non Hindi origin students were having difficulty in understanding Hindi language so I am making this video in English. So first of all I would like to say that there are three kinds of MSc courses which are going on in aims first one is msc nursing second one is msc courses msc courses has two part first is professional course professional courses includes cardiovascular imaging technology and nuclear medicine reproductive biology and msc courses in basic sciences basic sciences say i mean ki uh, biophysics physiology anatomy and all of these are under basic msc courses and third one is m biotechnology m, m biotechnology is different out of these three MSc courses and M, M Biotech exam are held in the month of July and MSc nursing exam is in the month of June. So for 2021 date has been announced and the date is like in for M Biotech and MSc course it is on 3rd of Ju July 2020 and for MSc nursing it is in second week of June. So let's uh, uh, look into the first procedure for the registration and date of examination admit card uploading and all. So first start with the basic registration. Basic registration for MSc courses starts in the month of December but uh, now it has not been yet announced but uh, it will be coming in, coming live soon in the last week of December or in the first week of January. So after basic registration you have to pay the fee and select the city choice for examination and that is uh, uh, roughly in the month of March or April. And now for uh, after all these 5 days or 10 days before the examination you will have your admit card or hall ticket for appearing in the examination. Date of timing, date and timing of the examinations uh, uh, will be announced soon and it will be of 90 minutes examination for 90 questions you have to uh, attempt. 90 minutes 90 questions. It is very difficult that ki you have to attempt one question in one minute. So it becomes very difficult for the purpose of reading question and answering the question in one minute. So about MSc courses and M Biotechnology, these are the description of seats in each of the MSc courses. You can see that different different categories has different different seats. It has not a regular pattern that key the category general has the highest seat and all. So you can see that the in some of the courses SC has one seat and general has also one seat so this depends on the availability of the seats in all the MSc courses so there are nine types of MSc courses uh, excluding MSc nursing I will discuss MSc nursing in the separate slide and there are nine courses and all the seats you can see that 71 MSc students are uh, coming each year in for the MSc uh, courses and for MSc nursing there are 28 seats you can see in the you can take a screenshot of this uh, slide it will be helpful for you and uh, you can see that the nursing students coming per year is 28 and here also you can see that the uh, courses has different kind of reservation pattern not a single uniform kind of pat pattern you can see that the in pediatric nursing there is no seat for general so this becomes hectic so you have to select your choice select your choice and select your category this is simultaneous dialogue between your choice of uh, subject and choice of that category so uh, you have advantage you have an advantage in msc nursing that msc nursing students who are doing job can also appear in msc nursing and can do msc nursing in service candidates i am saying about you can see that each of the uh, each of the courses has one msc uh, in service candidate also so uh, for these MSc entrance of MSc nursing it is held prior to the MSc courses for MSc courses and M biotech and uh, uh, one more important thing is that MSc nursing for all the aims like aims Jodhpur and all are held together and you have to appear in a counseling and that counseling will be in aims New Delhi and you are allocated the seats accordingly in different different colleges of the aims. So about exam detail exam fees is 1500 and uh, mode of examination will be online that is CBT computer based test only and 
course fee will you have to not to ponder about the course fee course fee is just ab about uh, one month pocket expenditure of yours and it will be around 900 or 1000 for two years and hostel accommodation accommodation for nursing it is mandatory that you will get the hostel but for msc courses there is no provision of hostel and as per availability in the MSc courses, the hostels are allotted. But the hostel is not mandatory in MSc courses and M Biotech. For MSc nursing, it is mandatory. And for reservation, you have seen that key uh, AIMS follows the pseudo reservation system, and because it is an autonomous institute, and uh, so it follows the pseudo reservation system. Candidate must score 58th percentile to get their name in merit list, and that merit list will be uh, like high the candidate who is getting the maximum marks are uh, on the top and uh, for like three times or eight times the students are called for the interview if you are coming under the uh, suppose you have five seats and uh, the the candidates called for interview will be like eight times five like 40 if you are coming in the maximum in the upper 50 40 students then you will get your name in the merit list otherwise you will not get even after crossing the 50th percentile of the uh, ms M, of the exam so result will be both like merit list and rank wise so rank wise if you uh, suppose you have five seats as i have uh, said that if you have five seats and you are coming under 50 then uh, if your rank is 41 and there are five seats you are not having your name in the merit list if you have 40 that is 8 times 5 into 8 40 if you have rank under 40 then you will get your name so it depends on the counseling uh, suppose uh, there are three counseling first round counseling second round counseling and open counseling so you have to attend, attend all the counseling this is a suggestion that you have to attend all the you just attend your all the counseling sometimes what happens ki many people don't know ki what is going to happen in open counseling many people don't know ki there is open counseling also so what happens they fail to get admission but if your rank is very poor and you are coming in open counseling you will get the seat so uh, i must suggest that you uh, are in touch with the site and just come in the open counseling also uh, so that you get benefit cutoff is not defined cut cutoff totally depends on merit list and the rank of the um, candidates Previous year questions are not available. This is very bad. I, uh, I, I mean, this is very big disadvantage of the test of MSc entrance. So about exam pattern, exam will be of 90 marks, 90 questions and one correct mark for each correct answer and one by three negative marking. Thumb rule for attempting, uh, uh, you can watch my video, my previous video, you will get the thing. And syllabus is not defined in the prospectus, so stick to the core subject. Core subject say I mean ki you must go through the all the disciplines of your BSc courses. If you are in BSc, you have done BSc nursing, then thoroughly study the, all the disciplines of your BSc nursing. If you have done BSc zoology, uh, you just read very very carefully your all the subjects like physiology, anatomy, and most important the taxonomy. Uh, you are not getting previous year questions so it is very difficult very hectic you ha are not going to ponder because i am uh, having a slide for you which will just explain how all the questions are distributed among different different nine different different cadres that is in the m biotech examination physiology examination anatomy examination in all these examination you have a uh, regular have a kind of regular pattern of uh, the questions asked for each year i have three rows for you, you as you can see and what happens in you get in each paper there are 15 questions of general biology you can see in the top of the slide 15 questions are from cell biology molecular biology and immunology in each of these examinations which are uh, shown in the uh, margin at the left corner so what happens ki you will get 15 questions 15 basic questions and that is for not for common but that is uh, that you can attempt if you have studied any basic basic uh, bachelor degree you have any basic bachelor degree then what happens quantitative chemistry say uh, i mean molarity molarity you will get five questions that will be a very uh, simple kind of 
numerical and after that you will get the current affair question of five like Nobel prizes and on what topic the Nobel prize was distributed and which was this who was the scientist who got the Nobel prize all these questions will content a um, five of questions in the current affairs current uh, from the current affair and uh, as AIMS is medical institute you will get pathology and disease based question and that will be like five suppose if we uh, in in examination they are asking about the Alzheimer's disease they'll ask what are the uh, what are the mechanism mechanism in pathophysiology they can ask like uh, tauopathy they can ask what are the most prevalent amyloid beta uh, that, that um, amyloid beta so this this type of question you can find and now the second row uh, second row is for the subject based subject based means the if you are applying for physiology then that this these two rows these lower two rows are for the physiology only for physiology my general question you will get 10 10 from the discovery scientist na name and all this kind of question you will get around 10 and for physiology uh, or anatomy or biochemistry there are many plots many graphs many diagrams are important from diagram and picture based question you will get 10 and techniques and methods question you will get 5 suppose I, if I am talking about the physiology you can have very better knowledge about the patch clamp method ECG EEG all the curves and all the diagrams all the values and formulas must be clear to you all so and uh, the third row is the advancement of all the questions all the courses like if you are applying for physiology have advanced or comp thoda complex question you can say uh, in the third row basic questions uh, from the subject will be slight difficult and you will get such, such type of question like 15 15 basic physiology questions basic physiology say i mean uh, basic physiology say I mean ki if uh, you you are appearing in the physiology exam you have to clear all the basic chapters like synapses neurotransmitters if you are ap applying for MSc anatomy you should have clear about the epithelial cells connective tissues and all the uh, all the types of the connective tissues and uh, all the types of the tissues this must be clear to you all for concept based mechanism you can say like if you are applying for physiology you must know the mechanism of contraction of muscle mechanism of uh, transmission of um, impulse and this type of questions you will get about 10 and advanced applied questions are some complex questions complex questions and advanced or you can say ki thoda difficult question you will get around 10 so this is a not i i will not say ki this is a regular pattern this is some kind of tends to regular um, pattern and you can follow accordingly um, um, around and you must revolve around this three rows and prepare accordingly thank you so much thank you so much guys for your love in my previous video and see you soon thank you so much